Hi, this is Ingram Jones, the Cricket Doctor. I'm at today River Sally, which is in Grenada. It's so on our way to Grenville. We thought we'd just drop off here because I'd like to run a cricket program right here. Uh, my good friend Felix Thomas currently runs a football program here for the young people of River Sally. And uh, thought I'd ask him a few questions. Hi Ingram, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you Felix? No, fine, thank you. This is a beautiful venue you've got here at River Sally, so how did you get to know about River Sally? Well, a gentleman named Mr. Clark John, he runs um, a youth team up here. Also, he he's a coach currently for the Hard Rock FC. I read that won the Premier League last, last year and has won a couple of tournaments around the past years. And I've connected with him to Jason Roberts Foundation. And since then we have kept that that bond going and kept communicating and stuff like that. So today we are um, here at River Sally and we are just getting a glimpse of how here is and the environment. How important do you think football development is in Grenada? Well, I've been here for about 10 years and it's very important. I haven't moved that much in, in means of uh, developing players, but I'm hoping to make an impact by developing charity football and introducing more opportunities for the coaches. Area. So in terms of yourself getting involved, do you actually do football coaching yourself? Well, I do football coaching at St. George University part-time and also I do coaching with Jason Wars Foundation. Hope I'm trying to pull away a little bit to have an ongoing program for other developing communities to get a, get a chance to develop themselves in football. In terms of Jason Roberts, there may be a lot of people who say, who's Jason Roberts? So who is Jason Roberts? Jason Roberts is a, a Canadian. That lives in England and plays for, well, well pre previously, uh, Reading FC, alright? He's currently in England right now, working on the Summer Foundation in England, and he's been here over, over the last four or five years, developing that same foundation, alright? Excellent stuff. Um, so, how long has your program been running here, would you say? Well, the program started in start of May, so they were going on like two weeks now. Been successful, we had 30 kids for the first week, alright? and. It's going, it's going good. Hopefully, word of mouth spread the word and people keep uh, promoting it and they see a good turnout. Well, you know, as you know, uh, we've spoken over things for a while. Felix. Yeah. We were talking about trying to get some cricket run over in Grenada. Now that I'm living in Grenada, um, it's a great opportunity to come and do some cricket here. So, what I'm going to do is pass the uh, camera over to you. Yeah. And you're going to ask me some questions. All right. Hey, Ingram, what do you think about this grounds here? It's a big ground, massive ground. You could do a cricket tournament here very easily. I mean, I know there's here football, but you can easily do a football cricket tournament here. There's uh, great seating arrangements. It goes very good there. Very really nice, very uh, picturesque. But in terms of ground, you see the ground's been cut very well, and it's maintained very well by these goats and sheep. Yeah. So it's most, but, it, but all seriousness, it's a great, it's a great field, and uh, the only thing we might have a problem here is, is light. The only time we have a problem here is light, but other than that, it's right next to the private school here, the River Sally School. So it's a great opportunity to be able to connect with the young people here. So there's a, they'll have an influx of young people here, not just for cricket but for football as well. And it's important, and, and cricket development is important, but we've got to start young. We've really got to start young and teaching the kids the foundations and the importance of how to conduct yourself as a player. Not just holding the cricket bat in your hand or kicking a football, but being able to listen to your coach, be able to understand those instructions and be able to go beyond just turn up to training. So it's very important. And we hope, I hope working with Felix, Thomas is uh, he's a great guy. He wants to do a lot to develop sport in the community, not just in you know the city of uh, in St George's, but outside in the River Sally is outside of the city, which is fantastic and more villages should get the opportunity like this. So what more can I say apart from I'm Ingram Jones? Don't forget to check me out, www.ingramjones.com. Terrible plug. See you later.